Hey guys, how's it going? Today I want to show you two things. The first thing I want to show you is the new tool uh, called Denoise in Lightroom. And the second thing I want to show you is how I use Luminar Neo with the plugin inside of Lightroom to enhance my pictures and make different kind of edits. Yeah. So let's jump into it. Let's go. So the first thing I will do is change the color profile of my picture to Camera Faithful. I think this is the best camera profile I've found so far. After that, I will play with the basic tools, the exposure, the contrast, the highlights and shadows. So after this simple modification of my photo, I will jump right away into the Denoise tool. Click on Denoise right here. So if you click and hold on your mouse, you will see the before. And once you let go of the mouse, you will see what the Denoise is gonna make to your photo. You can also click on the zoom out button right here and then zoom in on a section of the photo that you want to see the Denoise. So this is the before without enhance denoise and this is with the denoise so it's making a big difference then click on enhance it's gonna take some time to uh, let the program run but once it's over it's gonna create another picture and it's gonna have the new version of your photo without the noise all right so you can see there's a big difference this is the before right here and this is the after Let's compare that with the Luminar Noiseless AI tool. So a cool thing about Luminar Neo is that you can use it as a plugin inside of Lightroom. It's pretty easy. You only right click on the photo you want to edit, click on edit in and then choose Luminar Neo. It's going to open Luminar Neo and then you can make any edits that you want. I'm going to go on the edit tab right here. So this picture is still noisy. This is the the noisy version of the picture. I'm gonna click on noseless AI and it's gonna advise me to choose the middle adjustment for this image. So I'm gonna click on middle. If you're happy with this, just click on apply and it's gonna save another version of your picture inside of Lightroom. Okay, so the photo on the right is the one that Luminar created with the, his uh, noiseless AI tool. And the photo on the left is the one that Lightroom created. Yeah, I think Lightroom has done a better job for this one. I feel like there's a bit of distortion in the photo. So what I will do in this situation is that I will use the guided upright tool in Lightroom and I will draw four lines and that way Lightroom is gonna give me a more guided version without any distortion. So this is the before and this is the after. Okay, for now, this is it for Lightroom. I'm gonna right click again and I'm gonna edit the photo in Luminar Neo. The first thing that I'm gonna use in Luminar Neo is the Relight AI tool. I'm going to brightness my subject and darken the environment, so darken the background. Before, after. The other thing that I will do in this picture is that I will use the Mystical tool. This tool, I don't know exactly what it does, but it adds some blooming to the highlights, I think, and it softened the image a little bit. So I like this kind of look. So this is the before, this is the after. So far, we only touched like two tools inside of Luminar Neo, Relight AI and Mystical. And I think that only with these two tools, it's gonna give me what's necessary to bring something different out of the picture. So the only thing left to do inside of Luminar Neo is play with super contrast. I will bring up the highlight contrast, the shadow contrast and the mid-tone contrast before and after. So once you're done, just click on apply on the top right corner and again, it's gonna save a version of that new version of your photo inside of Lightroom. So you can continue to make any modification inside of Lightroom if you want. So this is the before and this is the after. All right, guys, that's it. That was a small and quick video. Just wanted to let you know about my, my new workflow in Lightroom and Luminar Neo. So if you liked the video, thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you, bye-bye.